until probably toward early to the middle of next week. Awesome. All right, Tom, thank you. Richard Weber, owner of Springhouse Gardens here. He's brought in some bodacious blossoms. They're hibiscus. They're hibiscus. blooming in gardens all across the viewing area, and this is a hardy plant. I mean, it, it does is. pretty well. And, I think uh, in Hawaii, though. Well, I know. Oh, th yeah. That's what you You're typically right. see. Hawaii, Florida, down in the south are okay. tropical uh -huh. hibiscus. But these are hardy uh, hibiscus that actually this is a native Kentucky plant variety. Mm -hmm. It's like it's a saddle white dish. Mallow. Yeah, they look <laughs> Huge. like, yeah. And actually, there's other ones that are even dinner plate size. You're kidding. But this is our native rose mallow, and these are several varieties that have been selected from the native, native strain. Look how beautiful that is, Richard. Yeah, these are all Luna, the Luna series. So these are going to get about two and a half to three feet tall. Okay. Um, but the blooms just open for one day, mm -hmm. um, and then they're, then they're dead. What? Um, I mean, then the blooms are gone. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, but the, the plant, plant lives on. Plant lives on year after year after year. They're very late to get started in the spring, so you'll think that the plant is dead, but it, it needs really warm weather to really start going. It and these, plays possum. It does. Oh, yeah. uh, but it dies completely to the ground. Even uh -huh. though it starts to look like a shrub, yeah. those stems won't come back. You, you, cut that, you cut them all the way to the ground, and the stems come back up, or the shoots Every come year. up from the ground. So yeah. does it require a lot of water and, and soil preparation? It prefers a lot of moisture. And the native haunts are basically along streams and low-lying areas, marshes. Oh. This is where you get the name marshmallow. These were rose mallows. Oh. Some, I still haven't figured out how they make marshmallow out of this stuff, but yeah. somehow that is where all that originated. So it, it, uh, maybe the same kind of maintenance you'd give a hydrangea? Yeah, kind of. I mean, okay. basically what you should do when you co go through these to kind of groom them, like there's le yesterday's bloom, and you just kind of peel, pull just that off. Pluck it off? Oh, pluck okay. that off, and, and, and it still looks pretty neat. Once you yeah. get rid of the old um, flower. flower part, mm -hmm. And then these are the buds that are getting ready to open tomorrow. Love I love everything about it. It'll last for about, bloom for probably three to four weeks in and out of, you know, you'll have some blooming sporadically, but yeah, awesome. all summer long. Good stuff. For more information, call Springhouse Gardens at 859-224-1417. Log on to springhousegardens.com and be sure to find them on Facebook and check out all those great photos. Richard, thanks as always. Thank you guys. Take a break. Be right back. More.